money left in the appropriation. Question number six. Speaker, my question, is, my question is to the Minister for Regional Economic Development. Does he stand by all his statements on the Regional Development Provincial Growth Fund? The Honourable Shane Jones. Uh, yes, in the context with which they were given and my ability to recall them. <laughs> Does he stand by his statement to this House on 9 November that the full content structure and character of the fund will be dealt with conclusively in the budget policy statement. Mr Speaker, uh, given that the meaning of the word character refers to the nature of a thing, yes I do. Well, how can he when he, it's barely rates a mention in the BPS, certainly in no detail, and the Haifu is only stated as a specific fiscal risk, risk given that no decisions have been made? Speaker. I uh, direct the member's attention to page 13, and he can read the answer himself. Well, barely mentioned. Does he agree with Grant Robertson's statement to the House on 9 December that when the half-yearly economic and fiscal update and budget policy statement are released before the end of the year, there will be significant certainty about our spending plans? If the member can't wait, I'll make up a special advent calendar for him so that he can count down to the half-yearly update. And if not, where's my advent calendar? Mr. Speaker. I have been tempted to offer the Minister of Finance an almanac, however I can confirm that we're both working on the full extent of the, of the fund, and I direct uh, the opposition to read page 13, an ominous number for them. Can he continue to confirm, as he previously has, that the fund will be new money? Speaker. Uh, I can confirm that I have described it as not being a fiscal hand-me-down. Oh, sorry. No, no. <laughs> Does the fact that the fund uh, is not detailed in the BPS or the Haifu uh, mean initiatives that he's been eager to get on with won't be able to start as soon as he would like because the money isn't flowing yet? Mr. Speaker, I can confirm that I have become a victim of my own political ardour. <laughs> Question number seven. <clears throat> the Honourable Dr Jonathan Collins. To the Minister of Health.